Hello, friends. How's it going? How are we doing on this fine Tuesday evening? Did you guys know it was Tuesday? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I'm here again with Dr. Ray Ray, who is Sup, <laughs> Um And I had the stream. I did not have the stream muted, so... <laughs> I just started, no, started panicking. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're gonna be playing more Deadly Device today. I, you guys will love to hear this. I actually did all of the candy on my own. I say on my own with Doctor Husband um, at the weekend, so you guys don't have to watch me fail at Simon <laughs> over and over again. Um, so that's fun. <laughs> Amazing. It, we literally, oh, okay. Give me one second. I have to go grab my fucking notebook again. <laughs> uh, and once again, I'm sitting here surrounded by notebooks, which is what makes this even funnier. Okay. Okay, got it. So we actually ended up just writing down all of them as they went. Um. So, yay, I'm glad. But um, what ended up happening was we just wrote them all down. Um, but I'm, because neither of us could do it. Did you know that every two times you play that, it goes, like, one, every two times you win one, it adds on another number to, to memorize. So, by the end, it's 13? 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13. Yes. Rude. Yeah. So that's, I wasn't just like crashing and burning. <laughs> it, I, although is, I. Is that like total or does that have to be consecutive? Because see, now I'm thinking the way you throw this is to just fuck up every other one and then it can't add more? No, I think what it is is that it's, it does it based on like how much candy you have out. Mm. So it's every successful time you you get in, then it'll mm. do it. So it doesn't matter if you fail in between. It just matters, like, Damn. so if you fail enough times and you're on 12, you're still just going to have 12. <laughs> uh, just, but rude. it's okay, because we don't have to do it. <laughs> Let me find. I, f I found my bookmark menu, by the way. I know everyone is just... You know, you guys are like, wow, I need to know if she found her bookmark menu. And the answer to that is yes, I did. Ooh, what? Um, trophy awards. Okay. So, as a reminder, we have Alarmist. Let me look. Are we, are we done with that one? I feel like we should be. Um, I forget if we got No, we, st we need one more for Alarmist. We have to one ring more. the alarm. Uh, candy Connoisseur. We did it. We ate all the fucking candy. Um, nom, nom, nom. Chemist. Creating all the formulas. We did that. Electrified. Uh, we haven't done that one yet because it's the big Tesla coil. Easter egg. We found three, all three Easter eggs, if I remember correctly. Gamer. Yes. We did. We finished aggregation, all 25 levels. Aw, uh, yeah. Okay, Gummy Bandit. We have not, we have not done yet. Um, we have to steal Ryan's gummy bears, which, you know, good, because we're out of candy. <laughs> she has developed a sweet tooth, and it will not be satiated. Yeah. Um, do you think if I had eaten all of the candy before she fixed the SD card, what would have happened? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if that would break the game. I wonder. I wonder if one would just appear again. Or yeah, would it just <laughs> also, spawn one for you to use? Does that mean that I didn't finish that up because I didn't eat the one that I gave her? Surely it excludes that one because otherwise it's probably game breaking. Yeah. Here's to hoping, because I, yeah. I'm i going to be mad if that's the case. Um, <laughs> but 
Uh, imperfectionist, we have to mess up Mason's desk three times. We've done it twice. Um, composer, we have to play the piano ten times. We're almost to being able to play the piano. Uh, pigeon handler, we did that. Pretty kitty, we're almost there. We have to put together um, the robot cat. We already have the piece on her from her desk, from the table in the lounge. From There's one on the counter in the photo lab. I think I got that one. Yes, I did. Behind the trash can in Gray's office. Haven't gotten that one yet. Under Mason's desk, did that one. And then to the left of the high voltage panel in the lab, we did that. And near Nancy's alarm clock. And then we have to just get Trivia Tamer. So, that's Hello. nothing, you know? That's fine. I wasn't able to steal candy from her. Not sure if that's what's being talked about. No, um, we were wondering if you eat all of the candy before Ryan asks you to get her candy um, so she can fix the SD card reader. We're wondering if that would break the game if you ate all the candy first. And we're also wondering if it counts that we ate all the candy if we gave one of them to her. So, here's to hoping. <laughs> here's to hoping. Okay. Would you like to tell them our very silly story of me acting oh very silly? Oh my gosh. So, I'm going to go I get some had... soda and I'll be right back. You tell them. <laughs> <laughs> So I have had a saga over the last week wherein it all started with an email from FedEx. So I have it set up where FedEx emails me if I have a package shipped to me. Um, doesn't matter whether I ordered something. It sees my name and address on a label and it goes, hey, you have a package coming. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I actually took a screenshot of that because it was really funny because it's like a package is on its way from an artist from Redbubble. And it had thing, you know, everything was like capitalized and it was really funny. I showed it to Risa and, you know, Risa kind of laughs. And the, the thing is, whoever sent this paid for two day priority shipping from FedEx. So quite expensive. And it took three days to get here because what FedEx does in my complex, especially around the holidays, is if they have multiple deliveries to this neighborhood, they just dump them all at one neighbor's door, whoever has the most slashed heaviest package, and expect them to deliver it. So I was like, well, it's probably gone for good, but no, my neighbor did bring it. I take it out and it's this poster, <laughs> this fan art poster for Lord of the Rings. And I'm like, oh, this is cool, but there's no note. I don't know who sent it. And Reese is like, oh, that's not mine because I, you know, mine is coming via USPS. It told well, me that. <laughs> well, I circle, well, then who the hell sent this? So I'm messaging around to people who A, know my address and B, know that Lord of the Rings is one of my biggest fandoms because the vet diagram of this is a razor thin line. <laughs> and everyone's like, no, it wasn't me. Like, you know, I'm messaging my friend Regina because Regina has gotten me Lord of the Rings themed stuff in the past. And she's like, no, it wasn't me. And I'm like, <laughs> my doctor friend in Canada? I don't know. And she's like, no, it wasn't me. So I finally put it on Twitter this afternoon. I'm like, one of you motherfuckers sent this to me and I don't know who it is. And Risa's like, oh, Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> but when did you get it, by the way? For like a week. I got it, uh, like, it was delivered on, um... Was it Friday? I think so. And because then, it didn't then I actually it shipped. got it on Saturday. Yeah, it shipped know, on it's... Thursday. That was the other thing, is that they told me it shipped on Thursday. So I was like, ah, oh, never would have gotten there to you that fast. It did, apparently. Yeah, and yeah, because it was t it was like FedEx two days. So I'm like, whoever sent this meant for it to get here fast because FedEx two day is like the value of the poster again. That's the thing so was, is that I just yeah. took sa standard shipping. So, so yeah, whoever, they gave me fancy was shipping. In the mail room, yeah, whoever was in the mail room was like, no, <gasps> this is getting there on time. So yeah. help me. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, and it, like evidently they never told Risa that it had been delivered. No. So, I still don't have you know, anything were, telling me it was delivered. Yeah, they were just like, oh, it's not here yet. And. <laughs> you know, so I'm just glad that you got the correct poster. <laughs> that or someone else had the idea of going and getting that exact same poster on Redbubble, but I have a feeling that's not true. I have a feeling. Probably not. Because, like, I even, like, messaged my mom. I'm like, Mom. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's me. And then she was like, wait, what's Redbubble? <laughs> and, you know, I was like, it's a, you know, somebody sent me a poster. She's like, no, that wasn't me. Plus, like, I don't have anything shipped to your address because I don't trust, you know, your 
your postage and like your mail and i'm like well if it was coming via usps like that's pretty solid because all they have to do is go into the bank of mailboxes but yeah somebody's got to walk up and down the stairs they it ain't getting to me okay yeah <laughs> it's it's amazing yeah it was it was absolutely spectacular i'm i'm so sorry <laughs> I'm sorry you have so been driven funny. crazy for like five days, having no <laughs> idea. And I'm over here just like, oh, I wonder when it's going to arrive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I but who I was literally, mystery package. literally before you tweeted all of that, right? I was like, I should tweet about, I was like, when all of your friends are neurodivergent, then you guys, all your Christmas gifts are just like, hey, here's something from your uh, special interest or here's something for your hyperfixation. But I was like, oh, no, but she hasn't gotten the gift yet, so I don't want her to think. Because, <laughs> like, any of you who follow me on my Kira Twitter know that, like, yeah, Lord of the Rings is seriously one of my hyperfixations. Right now I have I to watch it every night looking, to go to sleep. I was looking so. for something that was just Aragorn. And then I almost literally yeah. made my own mug that said my dad is better than your dad with Aragorn on it. But then I found that beautiful poster and I was like, okay, that'll be better than my... pretty, but the mug would have been really fucking funny. <laughs> it honestly. would have been, but it probably wouldn't have looked very good. <laughs> yeah. Plus, like, honestly, if you're going to find, like, just Aragorn fan art, it's probably all going to be, like, sexy Aragorn fan art. Exactly. And that is not the relationship no. that I have with that character. That character is my real dad. Exactly. Like, I'm sorry, my actual real life father is a piece of shit. So Aragorn is my real dad because yeah. you know what? Aragorn is not an eco-fascist. <laughs> Valid. Um, but I I paint repainted my nails, so Rachel gave me here, let me show you guys. There we go. So she sent me two nail polishes based on Sailor Moon. And this one is Sailor Jupiter. So it's this beautiful green color now. And then when my hands are actually warm, which you guys won't see, because that never happens when I'm sitting up. Um, <laughs> it only happens when I'm laying down. Um, they turn pink. Like Sailor Jupiter is doing her transformation. Yes. <laughs> so the amount of people who buy me like Sailor Moon stuff, I'm like, yes, thank you. I'm glad you understand <laughs> who I am. Okay. Well, and yeah, there was like both Sailor Moon and Sailor Jupiter in stock. So I was like, they need both. Yeah, it's true. I did. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's get into this game. Mm-hmm. Okay, fuck Simon, I said. Ta-da! Look at this empty case. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, what do we need to be doing? Still have, have okay, check that off I have yet. to call Victor. What's up, Victor? We must. Yeah, we kind of have to. Nancy, hi. Um. Okay, I'm gonna ask him about stuff and then tell him about Ryan, maybe. Um. Do I have to say? Do I have to talk to this man? Really? <laughs> or can I just? I found you know a way what? to prove We're that Ryan try and... innocent. It wasn't her. What? What do you mean? Photos from her award ceremony prove she couldn't have made it to the lab in time. It's not possible. That can't be true. All of that evidence. I'm sure it was her. Dear Dude, calm down, Jeff the Bridges. Photos over to the police now. They'll reopen the case and everything will just stall out again. Okay. What's my next move then? I don't know. I have to think. Okay, bye. I don't know. I have to think. I need another suspect. Quick. Do Pretty much. much. How I was can trying I to make... read, you know, the uh, thing in the background, one of his certificates, and it's like something society of something physics, and I cannot, for the life of me, decipher what that other word is. Okay, we're going to make it. Because, like, it's not, it's like, the closest I could maybe get was it was maybe device physics, but that's not quite right. So I don't know what society he was in. He'd be in IEEE, let's be real. He would be in the International El Society of like Electronics and Electrical Engineers. Electrical Engineers and Electronics, I think it is. Yeah. But it's it's the weirdest fucking it's IEEE. Nobody says the actual name. Yeah, like of course you say IEEE. Yeah. Of course y'all say IEEE and I go. 
because it's it's an I with three E's behind it. Huh. What do you expect me to do? Hi. Hi. You really are innocent. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I mean, don't yeah. be sorry. It's the smartest course of action. Exactly. Exactly. Look, exactly. I gotta ask you. <laughs> you're not really here for a new investor. You're here to look into what happened to Nico, aren't you? Uh, She's got our number. I mean, do we lie to her or we just tell her? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's she's gonna assume anyway, so we should probably just tell her. Yeah. Like, because if we lie to her, she's yes. just gonna be like, nah. I figured the questions you were asking were a little odd considering. I believe someone from this lab killed Nico. <laughs> Anything you need from me, you got it. Why are you yeah, being so helpful? Nico may have had some crazy, downright dangerous ideas, but he was a good was man. Was he a good man? His killer he was deserves stealing to be from punished, his employees. Whoever it is. I mean, like, I agree that no one should get away with murder. Completely. Yeah. Well, well, this is in not, this case this is not a situation this case. where you should be able to get away with murder. This exactly. Is not the right kind of murder. <laughs> We at Crowmeister <laughs> Sisters uh, do not condone murder, um, but we also especially not if it's the right kind, of, if it's the wrong kind of murder. Okay, Crowmeister Sisters does not endorse murder. However, I should, I should. Mm, mm. Uh, we don't. We're federal government. See, if you're listening, I don't actually condone murder. Yeah, right. I mean, right. self defense isn't murder. It's true. So like, legally, we'll... it is not murder. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we're done. I murder requires going. premeditation. Bye. Yeah. Otherwise, it is, you know, manslaughter. And manslaughter, sometimes manslaughter just happens. It's true. You know. Okay. Back down some new leads. Let's go talk to people. I guess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Okay, right. Oh, Nancy, um, you're gonna die. Hello? Oh, no, it's locked. Hello? Nancy? Is that you? Are you okay? No. I'm locked no. in. Me too. There's no air flowing in. How do I get out? Well, okay. <laughs> um, it's just like, uh. It's pretty hot in here. Okay. I'm find my way out as quickly as possible. Nope, that's not it. Thum, thum, thum. Thor, the god of thunder, is trying to exit my building. Always go right, is the... Is the... Mm-hmm. It would be so dark in here. Oh, yeah, Maybe definitely. she's using her phone as a light. Oh, I have to go left there. What are you doing? Here? Yes, Whoa! Indeed, Mythbuster God, reference. Did I, I met them actually said, what are you doing here? a long time ago. While I'm I met it, both Jamie bad. and Adam. And I said, hmm. back off. Hey, let go. I don't want to see you. I will not. Screwing around after hours. Okay. Are you crazy? <laughs> Can I get out now? It's fine. Leave me alone. Right? It's like, hey guys. By the way. <laughs> yeah, you better run. By the way, help. <laughs> I what am the trap. Arguing about. It's okay. We got out. We're fine. We were out for a while though. It's it's nighttime now. Yeah, we were it took us like 12 hours to get out of there. What's he doing in there? I mean, working. Kick the door down. Yeah, what? <laughs> I got locked in the lab and almost died. I got locked in the lab and almost died. That's so? Yes. <laughs> Someone turned off the oxygen. I had to crawl out the vent. Mm, you don't turn smart. off the oxygen Most in a room. Of that. <laughs> Just Do turn you have off any the idea banks? what happened? Mm, nope. I could have died in there. This is a lab. It's not to be taken lightly. <laughs> this is Forget not a normal OSHA dead. violation here, okay? This is literally not on the... This is something that somebody was like, I didn't think I had to write this into the rules, but apparently I do. Do not get locked in the room without oxygen. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, no, I don't remember. <laughs> um, man, I really wish I could remember what I was about to say. 
been that kind of day. Yeah. <laughs> I plugged my nose and what held my breath. I turned off Mason the oxygen. Earlier. <laughs> Nothing you need to worry about. You seemed a little angry. I was. It sounds like you are, sir. This does not sound like it's past tense. Who was here the night of the murder? I was. Who else? Who else? Ellie and... And who? Computers say someone, but the cameras say no one else. Nico walks in mm -hmm. that door alone every time no. I watch the tape. How many times Yay. have you watched the footage? It makes me so sad. Lots. Why? It's my job. <laughs> he thinks he should have been able to do something. You mentioned re-watching the video. Makes do you me think sad. something is hidden there? <laughs> not hidden. Missing. What's missing? It's not a what, it's a who. <laughs> I don't understand. The person who, who are you clocked looking in, for? Nancy. Nico's killer. Um, yeah, keep up. Did Nico's work put him in any danger? He was working yes. with electricity, Energy yes. Is power. Ultimate, Ultimate power. power. Why would that I was put him in danger? In danger every time I turned on anything in my lab and it wasn't even Tesla coils. <laughs> I did not have the proper respect for one of the major pieces of equipment I used because it was easily the most dangerous thing in the entire building. What and I was just like, ah, smoke hey, sometimes, it's fine. Why? Fire extinguishers right there. Carry Don't the worry about it. You'll get it. Scared the holy hell out of the kid I was training at the end of my career because I was like, yeah, sometimes it just smokes and he's like that sounds bad. And I'm like, the fire extinguisher is literally three feet away. If it, if you start seeing flames, just spray it with yeah. the fire extinguisher. It's fine. It's fine. It's an ABC fire extinguisher. It's it's safe. Like, it's not water. Why do I care what he thinks of Mason? I'm going to ask him anyway. What do but, you think but of Mason? Sure. Don't like him. Why not? I he doesn't like anybody. Reasons. What are they? Secret. 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 No, actually, I hate him. <laughs> Because he's up to something. <laughs> what? I have no idea. Not for lack of trying. Aww. I was gonna beat it Why out of him so until you showed about up. What Mason was up to? He was messing with tech he didn't understand. Yeah, Adam Savage has I had his to own make YouTube sure channel. He didn't Adam do anything Savage stupid. is very clearly neurodivergent. <laughs> oh, that's what I was gonna I say. Have... Mythbusters. Um, I actually the, the always follow the right hand thing. I didn't get it from Mythbusters. That's just what I've been told my whole life. <laughs> I'm claustrophobic. No, no, the, the the reference was um, they had an episode where they uh, tested various means of like you know Mission Impossible style yeah. shit of breaking into buildings, and one of them was climbing through the air ducts. Gotcha. And yeah, it's just so noisy. Yeah. But yeah, Adam was like Thor, the god of thunder, is trying to enter my building. That was They'll the reference. Never gotcha. Yeah. Because I think so, Mythbusters also did something on mazes. That's why I thought someone was I, saying something about that. They probably did at one point. Yeah. No, like, yeah, I met I met both Jamie and Adam several years ago, and Adam in person is absolutely just bouncing off the wall, like, Ryan. <laughs> very, very much like Ryan, actually. And Jamie is just like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. uh, I am here because I have to be, not because I want to be, whereas Adam is like, attention! Everyone is giving me attention! So Amazing. My mom was surprised by how short they were, and I'm like, not everyone <laughs> in the world is my dad's side of the family who are all over six foot. Yeah. But we are so used to tall men that we're like, these men are small. <laughs> what were you shredding? Nothing. It didn't seem like nothing. Leave it alone. Bye. Oh, I am Bye. putting that shit back together out of the shredder. That's why you can't really use shredders for, like, you know, classified documents. They all have to be burned. Yeah. Um, actually, and that's what I do with my mailing address. <laughs> what um, anything that comes is gets burned. Um, if you shred things and you send them to like a, sh a facility for shredding stuff, then they burn it for you. Yeah, because what are they gonna do with it? You know. Yeah. Those are co um completely uh, what you call it. I can't remember the word. Yeah, I did it. The kill switch yeah. for the Tesla coil. Why does gray have it? Well, why not? I, I love a big red button. Favorite thing in the this whole. Back together. <laughs> See, this is why you don't leave shit in the shredder. See? <laughs> no, my favorite button in the whole lab. We had a big red button once. It 
we were trying to hook up a big piece of equipment, not the most dangerous one in the lab. The most dangerous one in the lab did not have a big red button, but it did have a kill switch you could throw. And we were trying to get it to turn on and hmm. it wouldn't turn on. And we're like, oh, what the hell? Like we have it plugged I in. We know there's power to this outlet. This it was a 220 volt outlet. And we're like, what the hell is going on? And then it was like, did we push the big red button at one point? Cause it, there's an emergency stop on the power supply. And we were like, surely not. And so it's like, well, we're gonna push the big red button because what's the worst that could happen? You know, we don't get power and sure as shit, we had bumped the big red button by accident and it had killed the power. <laughs> so then we all felt exceedingly silly, but. I mean, Ryan seems like the type who, like, you know, something goes wrong, immediately push the big red button because that's your that's your that's your kill switch, like that's your safety, you know. It's it costs you usually, you know, more in terms of safety to not hit the button. Excessive like... Corona breakouts. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, actor. I mean, you know, where did it come from, really? I mean, I know we know the answer, but you know, if you're if you're watching the Prestige, for all we know, it was from a Tesla lab. Oh God, I watched I watched a lovely review of it was from Dominic Noble's channel, so it was a last lost an adaptation, um, uh, video on the Prestige, where like the Prestige is a is an in name only adaptation. It's actually nothing like the book, but apparently Tesla is in it, and yeah. it's just like oh god, <laughs> oh no, why? <laughs> the Prestige is such a fucking weird movie. Like I'm gonna yeah, be real with you. Yeah, it does not seem like one I could watch because he was like. I am going to put this in chronological order so that I can critique it. This is not how the movie actually plays. And as he's, you know, organizing it, I'm like, oh God, I could have never watched that movie. It yeah, so it's a weird. whole thing. There's flashbacks within flashbacks and shit. And, it's uh, actually, it came out at the same time as The Illusionist. And I remember everyone was pinning yeah. against each other. Yeah, and, and I remember being, I could not tell the difference between the two at all. I had no idea. Um... Valid. <laughs> You're um, telling me Tesla wasn't really just a David Bowie persona? No. Not generally. <laughs> it was an Ant's Bugs Life situation. Totally was, though. But Bugs Life was superior to Ants in every way. Oh, definitely. Um, definitely. Ants was and really both of them weird. had, like, chronological storylines that you could follow. <laughs> No. Also, didn't Ants involve Woody Allen, which automatically ba makes Bugs Life better by default? Seems about right. I think it did. I think Woody Allen was in it. Ew. I like how my fr one of my friends has a, a, a Tumblr called Is Woody Allen Dead Yet? Um, sadly, no. <laughs> well, just... let, me, let me check the IMDB. No, IMDb sadly. Ants. He's, he's still alive. Yes, with Woody Allen, Sharon Stone, Gene Hackman, Sylvester Stallone. Ooh, it rhymes. But yes, Woody Allen. I think Woody Allen plays the main character, actually. So yeah. It, 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 it. <laughs> That's not how this works. Wait, waiting patiently. Ah, yes, de definitely. See, I can't reach up up the other yeah. C, so I can't do it. Okay, race all. I have to do this ten times, guys, just so you know. Herman Polanski, yes, is also trash. You. <laughs> now play the Animal Crossing theme. I don't know it. <laughs> I wonder if there would be enough notes on this for me to play Axel F. Because <laughs> I that was one of the ones I had to play when I was in when I was doing piano lessons. I can't and... even hit. <gasps> you can't do. Oh, I, can't, I can't play, play Axel... release. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't play Axel F on it though. Then if I can't hit the black keys, because but... if I can't hit, because it. <laughs> Rude. 
but I had never heard it before in my life because I had never seen Beverly Hills Cop. So we literally, this was back when you could rent. Uh, I don't know how many times I've done this. I have Four? no idea how many times I've done this. <laughs> Four, I think. Um, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but do I actually like... have to hit play? Oh, maybe so. Let me look. But, um, yeah, we literally had to go to the video store and rent Beverly Hills Cop, and I was, like, probably 14, and we had to watch it so that I could hear it, because I can't read music. I have to hear it, and then the music tells me what notes to hit. So, I'm gonna um, do this as... Yeah. It was, it was fun. I mean, I guess a Tesla coil might have a hard time distinguishing, like, sharps and flats, but also, you, you just tune the device to be that sensitive. I feel like you can. I'm just doing this. Hey, I'll go back again. Oh, that's ominous. Yeah, it does that. Everyone disliked that. <laughs> Seven. I had to, I started from the beginning just in case. Um. Yeah, Roman Polanski is yeah. Another pedophile. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's nine. Just one more. Oh, yeah. Prince of Egypt? Yeah, the, the, the whole movie is pretty good. I okay. would say it's worth a watch. I don't um, actually have anything to do here yet. I feel like this music <laughs> is really loud right now. I'm gonna turn it down. The music wishes you to know it exists. Which, I mean, it, it is... Fine. It is rather good. It is good. I like the music, but... Let's save. Uh, opinion on realism of Tesla Coils and Sorcerer's Apprentice. <laughs> uh, like honestly it's not horrible and in fact Did yes that. tesla coils are used to play music Check. in some shows so you you absolutely Check. can do it Can't to do it off, as yeah. well as he does in the movie that's, that's fantasy but also the fact that they are not wearing ear hearing protection while they're standing in the Faraday cage, uh-uh. They would come out of there unable to hear shit because they are very loud. You're standing next to a lightning strike. Like, <laughs> it's loud. Um, and you would get pretty hot in there pretty fast with it going off as much as Still have to do it that. does. But in terms of, like, as much as they showed of how they worked, it's not horrible Am I not it has been back? a hot minute since i saw the sorcerer's apprentice though to be honest i like just got disney plus yesterday and i'm now trying to catch up on the baby yoda show yeah it is so, the baby yoda show I, you, just just admit it disney it's the baby yoda show okay. attaching it to the hood of the car <sighs> i mean if you could get a big enough power supply in your car you could do it um it it would be heavy, and, like, your car battery probably would not run a full Tesla coil. Your car battery could probably run a Van de Graaff generator, but probably not a full Tesla coil. But then again, there's time-traveling sorcerers and, you know, important. magic and shit, so... Uh, and plus, isn't that a magic car anyway? So are we just saying it's powered by magic at that point? Yeah. We, we could do that. So, I mean, it's a Nicolas Cage movie. How much do we really expect? <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it has been a while since I saw that movie. Because, like, none of us asked for that. None of us asked for a Nicolas Cage Disney movie. Like, it's like Quest for Camelot. It's another movie. Nobody asked for that. <laughs> Nobody asked for, uh, 
Gary Oldman attempting to sing. See, no. Gray has a PhD mm -hmm. in physics. Apparently from it, 1979. It would not be doctor of physics. It would be doctor of philosophy in the field of theoretical physics. Yes, it would. However, like, they don't, don't know how that works. <laughs> What's someone That's with a PhD doing? Oh, no, no. In See, security? Quest for Camelot is one of my trash movies from when I was a kid. It, I was obsessed with it for a while. It was one of, it was one yeah. of my hyperfixations for a long time. And it, so one of the interesting things about that movie that I did not realize until I was quite a lot older, um, the singing voice of King Arthur in that is Steve Perry from Journey. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. I And I honestly thought for years that the singing voice of Garrett was like Clay Aiken or some shit because like that, ca that casting was a choice. You take Carrie Elwes and you give him like you know, who I legitimately thought was Clay Aiken as his singing voice. Really? Really? I have never read the book it was based on, The King's Damozel. I've never read it, but it also started a pretty serious um, hyperfixation on, like, the fantastical element of Arthurian legends for me. Like, I read The Sword in the Stone, which was honestly a choice for 12-year-old me. Um... Because Quest for Camelot is one of the movies that I would kind of rediscover multiple times, and then I would get obsessed with the music. Because I liked Leanne Rhimes at the time, it was part of it. And Leanne Rhimes does the studio version of um, Looking Through Your Gray? Eyes. Is this an um, unedited tape? But if it is, I wouldn't be surprised if it was wait, meant to be PG 13 because the there's definitely. Like, it's. It's a he slightly like heavier movie and like a little bit more serious. Haven't done that. So check. Um, which was probably honestly check. what I liked about it. I didn't know who ninety percent of the people in it were. I knew Jane Seymour. I did not know um, Celine Dion. <laughs> uh, it, let alone that Celine Dion was the singing voice of Jane Seymour. I did not know who Pierce Brosnan was. I did not know who Carrie Elwes was. My parents told me who Jaleel White was. Uh, I still didn't really get it. Um, and I knew who Leon Rhymes was. I did not know who Gary Oldman was. Like there, there were a ton of people in that movie that I didn't know. And now I, I like, I have a, I have, a, I have a copy of it that is digital that I did not necessarily, you know, pay for. Um, and like I watch it now, and I'm like, oh my god, there's all Pierce Brosnan was in this. What? <laughs> but I asked my mom years later that opening song because I fixated on that song because of the drums. So I found a copy of it. And once I learned that, that was Steve Perry, I went to my mom and I was like, you are never going I to guess to to who this voice correctly. is. Guess. And she listened for a minute and I she's need to like, figure out whose car this is. Patrick Stewart. And I was like, you are wrong. However, that is a very interesting guess, and I'm on board with it. Because, <laughs> I mean, I would believe Patrick Stewart singing like that. But yes, Titan AE, I also loved. And it, I did not fixate on that for as long, because as a kid, my style was more was medieval Elliot fantasy than it this? was space opera. But I did enjoy that. Like, now I watch that, and just the way everyone is gesticulating all the time is very funny to me. Patrick Stewart from Journey? I'd believe it, right? <laughs> I just, I did not know Steve Perry would ever sing that low. So, oh yeah, no, Titan AE, you can totally tell, is a Don Bluth film, because Don Bluth has a particular haircut that he gives all his heroes. It is the Don Bluth haircut. It is, and it's in The Sims it's now. Yeah, and it's in The Sims now. If you have eco lifestyle, you can get the Don Bluth haircut. It's true. It's fantastic. Yeah. And it's like, anytime you put that on somebody, it's just like instantly sexy. Obviously. I mean, if he looks like Dimitri, then th that was my big- It's true. That was my big crush as a child, because I did, I did fixate on Anastasia. Mulan is the other one I fixated on. Um, yep. And Swan Princess. Yeah, I did both. Those were yep, my three big ones. I did all ones. of those. Uh, did Madeline? All of those. The 1998 Madeline, also for some reason, I hyperfixated on. So now every time I say the word chicken, sometimes my brain goes, chicken, Ellen, chicken. And I don't, I can't make it, I can't get it out of my brain. It lives there rent-free. Okay. 
I don't that one I never yet. saw, but uh, I don't think most people did. <laughs> I think that's one of those things where I was like, <laughs> you know, sometimes you just no, but like. I also I also didn't know until recently that Liz Calloway, who was the singing voice of Anastasia, I think she did both the speaking and singing voices of Odette in Swamp Princess. Um, so it's like, oh, is that why I liked it? I happen to like this singer. Things are making sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. And... Curl up with some good books. Condemned Elephant's Name. Where Topsy. Yeah. Hey, V equals IR. Is that Ohm's Law? Am I crazy? V equals IR is Ohm's Law, yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Tesla's Good Friend. Mark Twain? I think so. What is element 74? Homestead, I would assume, since that's what's I... on here. Let's try it. Yeah, I don't see any other and element correct names. correct radio patent holder is Marconi, so where's that? Um... There's oh, gotta be. Turn up me. The Crystal Skulls! Sorry. <laughs> Short stories for tired eyes. Oh, Marconi, right there. There, right there. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I know that. I I have 18. heard that the writers of Mulan mm -hmm. attempted to make Shang a, a little more obviously bisexual and were shot down because it's Disney. Disney does not believe in creating art; they believe in making money, and they have said so publicly. Um, 1893 Columbian Expo site. Is that Colorado? It might be, because I don't see any other Let's do locations. That. And then the last one is... Oh, it could be Chicago. We'll find out. It had... It was Chicago. Okay. So let's try that again. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't remember Colorado having anything, but, you know. Holmes. I wasn't alive Mark then. Mark Twain. Tungsten. Um, Marconi. I'm assuming... So where was Chicago? Right, two over from Marconi. It's that black book with the crosses on it. That one. Yep. And then... There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, Blues Brothers. That was, that was one that my dad rented back when Netflix was only DVDs you got through the mail. <laughs> that was one that he rented because he was like, you need to see this. And I was like, okay. He did the same thing with... Um, what was Nico a couple of Monty Python on? movies, the Monty Is Python and the Holy Grail, and then Monty Python and the Life of Brian, which he did not uh, warn me had full frontal nudity in it. Uh, I was like 12. Okay. What is it was this great. about? I cannot remember. Oh, God. The Zodiac Killer? I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I know that this is a thing. And I know these numbers correspond with letters. Yeah. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is E? Would that be this then? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Don't are we I missing? Quite... I don't quite understand this yet. Um, are, are we missing a thing that tells us what to do with it? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Um. Haven't done. That's why does this safe out. door Still swing in? It looks like it swings Still in. You have to do that. It does. I like the one light. Oh no! Here. What? That's just I, life on. of Brian is like not bad. I just wish that I would not I have. Don't had like to life of Brian. Someone's penis. Life of Without Brian permission. is like, honestly, like, it, I thought it was good when I was younger, but upon rewatch, it is, there is blackface in the first scene, mm. and there's an entire transmisogynist joke that just runs throughout the entire thing. Yeah, I haven't so. seen it since then, because I was like, I have no desire to see that man's penis ever again. Please and thank you. Um, I don't even think I've seen... Monty Python and the Holy Grail since then. It's very... Just, like, that one holds up. Like, I think part. I've just seen clips and stuff. I don't think I've seen the whole thing all the way through. Monty Python definitely was something I... Uh, specifically Holy Grail, I fixated on when I was, like, 12. Um, 
So that was fun. What do I need to do? Yeah, again? I think my dad got that one because um, I done that because I was fixating on like Camelot at the time. Because uh, he also got uh, was it Excalibur? I think the one with Helen Helen Mirren. Yeah, I think Helen Mirren in it. Um, where again nudity. Mm. Thanks, Dad. Just keep showing your 12-year-old daughter naked people. That's very... See, Aragorn would not do that. Yeah. Aragorn would not do that to his children. He would be like, hey, Arwen this is would in kill here. Him. This is in here. And, you know, if you want to watch it, you can. Um, if not, we'll just Austin Powers part. were movies that my dad showed me. Ariana ah. and I watched the Austin Power movies on VHS, and I'm not quite sure why. I don't know why we had them on VHS, but we did. Um, I assume we liked them? <laughs> I, I don't remember. But we never, I don't think we ever watched an Austin Powers movie because my mother did not like that style of humor. Yeah. So she went, nah, not in my house. And like, honestly, I, I don't blame her, you know? That okay. Mike Myers is loud and obnoxious and is definitely a taste. Like, for sure. The only thing he's good in um, is Shrek. Yes, he is Shrek good in Shrek. is a masterpiece. You know, the thing that he's, like, not actually... He's not actually in because he's a voice actor. But it's in like, that. honestly, Shrek 1 is a masterpiece, but Shrek 2 is honestly, like, one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, yeah, it's very and good. And I... Uh, Rachel can attest that when I am playing um, an RPG of some kind, I immediately fall into the... They don't even have dental. We're here from the Union? I do that shit all the time when I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, 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 no. Instead of trying to, like, brute force this, how about I just lie to them um, and see how that goes? Because specifically mm -hmm. in Star Wars, um, Oh, yeah. Right? It's, yeah. like... You can get away with so much shit just by yeah. lying in that mechanic. Exactly. And so many, like... Like, if your cunning is high enough, you can do a pretty good deception. And if you're just mm -hmm. talking to an average person, it's gonna yeah. be, it's gonna be like a 50%, more than a 50%, it's like 53% yeah. chance of you, like, succeeding. Um, yeah, and stormtroopers have no discipline, I mean, so they're easy to lie to. They do have vigilance, though, so it really depends on what someone is saying. Um, because yeah. some GMs will use, um discipline and some will use i like using letting people choose if they're the ones who are going to be like i want to see if they're lying you can mm -hmm. use to me vigilance seems pretty good there as well or perception but in yeah. the rules it's supposed to be versus discipline and i just disagree <laughs> sorry i'm like i need to get this off my chest <laughs> Specifically because poor Hala was incredibly, like, she was so cunning, and she just could she not was. tell when she was being lied to, and it made me so mad. <laughs> because She's it's like, like... I'm very good at lying, but I cannot spot one. And her perception was so high, too. So the fact mm -hmm. that, like, mm -hmm. she couldn't tell if people... I was just like, you piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, okay. like, honestly, to be fair, Arin's willpower was so high, and she still got duped, so, like... You know, so oh. somebody sings her a sad story, and she's like, "Oh no, I take all of this at face value." <laughs> Arin, no, you are you are the oldest person in this group by like ten years. You're supposed to have life experience. <laughs> what are you doing? No, I offered to GM like a one shot in that mechanic for a social group that I'm part of, and I fully expect no one will actually take me up on it because none of them have any clue what it is. This was, Which is fine by me because I don't... I didn't make a good choice. <laughs> one is not the thing in the middle. This needs to all add up to 15. And, um, I'm sorry that I'm, like, in the mm. middle... You're, you were talking, but I'm trying to do it's a puzzle, okay. and my brain isn't working, and I would like help. <laughs> you are also here okay. to help me. <laughs> Uh, so what is the to 15. what should i put in the middle then uh, like should nine go in the middle i don't know because try five to start with maybe okay 
because then you can do like a seven, a three, a nine, and a one. Yeah, a seven, a three, a nine, and a one, a six, and a four, and an eight, and a two. Yeah, that's how it goes. Okay. See, this is why, this is why you're here. I thought they hated each other. What's going on here? So apparently, I didn't, I didn't know this, but this is, this isn't something that's actually real. People say that, that Victor planted this here. However, Victor isn't here yet. Hmm. Seems suspicious to me. So I don't know. I'm not gonna read I... all of this, by the way. I hope everyone understands that. Plus, like, don't don't they fess up to this later? I thought like... so too. No, see, they're fabricated. But I, but he's not here yet. Yeah, he hasn't shown so up yet. He... But then again, okay, but yeah, like then. But he has to be out? here because uh... who knocked us out? Uh... See, you guys are smart. But I'm just, I'm still trying to figure it out because he's not here he's yet. He's hiding in the vents like the rat he is. <laughs> uh, but we would hear him. We've established this. Okay. Well, I did that. Could um, also like suffocate and overheat. Did that. How do I? Can't check that off. Haven't, can't check that off yet. Ch 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like being abusive towards <laughs> Nancy at this point. <laughs> Is he staying in the secret office? No, he can't get into the secret office, which is a huge issue for him. He must he must be here, but because it's nighttime, I haven't seen him yet. Like, mm. I bet he's here, he's just asleep. <laughs> That's all he's I like, can well, think of. like, well, attempted a murder, time to nap. Okay, Gray, sorry. I just need to see who, who is this is. Who is this it? Card key or 2000. This is the card that opened the lab the night of the murder. Okay. So it's 18511.6518. Let's see. Yeah, it is the one. The night of the murder. Yeah, yeah that one. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Did she grab System it? No. override. No, I also read it in that voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we need to sleep now, so... I don't think there's anything else we can do this day. Oh, oh you what's... just wait until I get those nifty knitting... potted hanging plants. <laughs> it is over for you. Exactly. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um. What am I doing? Is he here yet? No. <laughs> Times you pressed reset on that thing, you had to redo the puzzle. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it isn't very clear. I have to admit. Yeah. It does seem like you're supposed to do something with it. Most of the Sims yeah, stream was designing George and Ryan. Yes, and that's true. how it should have been. Like, yes. are you saying she should have just not taken the time that Ryan and George deserve? Yeah, it's true. I can build whenever I want. Hmm. George and Ryan are forever. They're on the gallery now, by the way. I haven't put that on yet. I need to build the I, frame. I, after the fact, up. cheated George through many levels of the military career just to get her that suit. And then promptly had her quit and become a tech, tech guru. guru again. Yeah. <gasps> yep. Look at this baby. Oh my <gasps> god, it's there. It never blinks. How does it have whiskers but no eyelids? Why is it growling at me? I want it. Now destroy it. <laughs> I want a pet. Ah, there we go. No, let me pet you. This is not there. So mad. What's that? Hey, I, I think someone tried to kill me. Lab. I think someone tried to kill me. The air was off. Yeah. Yep, I, I had know. to crawl out the vent. No one was trying to kill you. I'm... How can you be uh... so sure? The only one who knew about the air cycling off was me. I'm working on the vent system. If someone locked you in, they weren't trying to kill you. <laughs> then what were they trying to do? I don't know, but I'll make sure the air stays on. Still, be careful out there. Thanks. Bye. Bye. You're not making yourself Bye. sound any better, Ryan. 
<laughs> okay. Honestly, so... sounds kind of suspicious. Kitty! Okay. <laughs> I did the thing. I'm very excited. Um. Oh. oh my mother would not allow water shipped down in the house. I guarantee yes. it. Like, I better you get know. going. Later. Animals in peril? Nope. Valid. Nope, nope. That's why my mom wouldn't let us watch um, Bambi. Yeah. My, like, my mom let us watch, or hey. let us, let me watch Bambi, but we didn't watch it very often. It wasn't a movie that particularly Is interested me, so it was card? fine. But... Mine has my name on it. Yeah. You look a little upset. Someone moved my things. Someone, Someone will pay. Um, so, so when I was, I know, time. when I was younger, um, we weren't allowed to watch, um, Old Yeller. Um, yeah, I, I've would, never I, seen we, it. I saw it once and I don't remember it. And um, that's the way it should be. My mom also wouldn't let us watch The Fox and the Hound. Um, like we saw it, but it was one of those where if we were like, let's put it on. She was like, no. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we yeah, had the it. Fox and the Hound. I, I didn't see much either. It's because I I couldn't take the Fox and the Hound. It oh, tore me no. apart. Yeah, but sometimes Ariana and I just wanted to make ourselves torture. Like we would just <laughs> want to torture ourselves, so we'd watch something sad. And to this day, we still do it. Um, I mean, that's why <laughs> I will if I'm going to rewatch episodes of Buffy, I will almost always watch The Body. Now, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, but. <laughs> yeah, and I have never seen Buffy. I don't Buffy. think I've ever seen an episode of Buffy. Uh -uh. Valid. I don't think I have. I, Ariana and I fixated on it for years. Um, we read the comics and all of that. Um, <laughs> we both have most nice. of the episodes memorized. Um, that kind of stuff. I have so many of them, like, I have the names of the episodes just written into my, my brain because we had the <laughs> DVD sets. Um, mm -hmm. Though we did steal one season from our friend Sarah, but she is current. She's going to be having family over for Christmas, so I'm mad. Oh no! She's the one that I was talking about. Like her yeah. brother is coming to visit, and their their sister <sighs> had cancer as a child. I think Ooh. still does technically, but she has terrible breathing issues, and mm -hmm. he's going to get off of a plane and then come visit them. And I'm like so mad. <laughs> She's like 15 now. Okay. Mm. Um, you were here the other you night. You were here the other night. So what if I was? Someone for some attacked reason, me. The air, you like, think it's me? The, um, it was okay. the old okay. Twilight Zone, like around New Year's I on some cable channel. Why I forget what. Maybe it's sci-fi sci channel. Yeah, but that's the only way I've ever seen any episodes of The Ooh. Twilight Zone was with that. And I'm not going to see it this year because I'm not going home, even though my parents are 60 miles away. Um, because I would like all of us to not die. That is what I would like. I've watched Twilight Zone on Laserdisc. Ooh. <laughs> Our grandpa nice. was super into Twilight Zone. Um, nice. And so we watched a lot of it when we were younger. Like, a lot. I have so many of those, like, those episodes just, like, written into my brain. <laughs> <laughs> and I made Andrew watch some of them, because he he didn't see them. And they're on Netflix, or at least they were for a while. Um, mm. And he, I showed it to him, and he was like, I'm not, I don't, I don't really like this. <laughs> yeah, it's things that i was fine to have in the background but like i do the same thing with doctor who because bbc america of course does doctor who marathons around the same time so i'll just like turn that on in the background and that's how i found out my mom has a type because <laughs> like i already knew because she likes kimberly williams paisley she is the lead in the 10th kingdom which is exactly my brand of trash it is <laughs> It is fairy tale world comes into the modern Bye. world and See you like later. It, it it is such a brand thing and it is, like I said it is exactly my kind of trash and she was always like oh like she's super cute you know like you know she's got like the cute little nose and the big blue eyes and the brown hair and everything and I was like well yeah she is objectively pretty and then when my mom was watching um uh Doctor Who and I was finally like 
no, sit down. I think you'll enjoy this, mom. Like, seriously, <laughs> I think you'll like this show. She was watching um, some of the Goodbye. episodes with Clara. And Clara, of course, has brown eyes, but she still has that very particular face shape. And she's like, she is so cute. She's my favorite, <laughs> she's my favorite companion. And I'm like, you, Donna doesn't make the list? She's like, no, Clara. Donna like, is the best companion in New Who. Like, Donna like, is objectively the best companion. Yes, I haven't I watched anything after the first two episodes of Capaldi because I just lost interest when it I just- I haven't seen his arc all the way through. His I've seen like in bits and pieces. So he's <laughs> probably great. Honestly, he's probably great. <laughs> I could not stand the, how, what the writing was doing. Mm -hmm. Um. Like he had sonic sunglasses or something, and I just kind of yeah. closed my computer yeah, I was, I was and like, I walked I away. Mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna mm -hmm. deal with that anymore. Um, Plus, like after Clara's exit, it was like, eh, eh. I didn't even get that far. <laughs> okay, I yeah, think like, I need to look at. Oh wait, Nico Diary. That's what I need to be doing. Ah. I was like, I had something to do. Okay, if we're gonna have talking going <laughs> I love on, though. that's so clearly a, a bricked up wall. Okay. Or a bricked up window. A bricked up wall. Friday. The hours have gone negative this week. The news of the announcement has gone far beyond what I wanted. I've lost control over it. And we're not ready. Gray has been helping me comb through all the unsuitable work. I've had to step mm -hmm. up my own security. I can't be too careful okay. now. The mood in the lab has been tense for a long time. But there has been a shift. Hey. A sudden Your calmness own to security. my enemies as of late. As if they're planning something. Paranoia has always come creeping into the back reaches of my mind when I stretch myself too far, but I've not been overextended. Quite the opposite. Everything has been going smoothly with the energy project. This, I fear, isn't paranoia. I mean, he was right. Okay, but however, the date 1016 completely mm. burned into my memory of <laughs> my first boyfriend. Um, his little sister died, and that was her birthday. So now oh, every time God. I see that date, I'm like, hey, just like Danielle. Um, Aww. We did lots of, uh, like, going to her memorial and stuff. Like, she had this memorial bench. She was, like, seven when mm -hmm. she died, so it was a huge thing. Um, mm -hmm. But now I can't think about that date without going, aw. <laughs> I find myself unable to trust anyone here, but I can't leave the work. Not until it's announced. There's electricity in everything. But we don't know how to see it because we perceive it to be scarce. Always looking for exotic solutions. Okay, exotic but do we though? Victor once warned me to take it easy with the announcement. The world economy is built on expensive energy. To flood the market could cause a collapse. But to continue to hide the resources we have, to deprive those who need them. I see why Tesla liked his pigeons. They fly only where they're directed. That's not I never true. Never question the effect the beating know? of their wings will have on the skies and the world below. Pigeons are not known for, like, just sitting still. <laughs> Sir, I think you need to sleep. Um, you're still getting a little have, loopy. That's done. That's, still have to so, do that. like, technically, yes, electricity is in everything, because that's literally how your, like, molecules and everything stay together. Because electricity is literally just the movement of, um, either electrons or holes which electrons are what orbits the nucleus and you know, depending on like how many protons you have in the nucleus in order to have a neutral atom, you will have a corresponding number of electrons that will leave empty holes, usually in a shell. You can ionize something by taking a couple, you know, one or two electrons away and then you have more holes to move. Like they tell us that it's electrons that move because Ben Franklin had a 50-50 shot and he guessed wrong. <laughs> um, basically, because it's usually the positive charge that moves. It can be the negative. It's usually the positive. So the absence of an electron is what usually moves. So like, yes, technically that is in everything. However, you're never going to harness it without destroying the object. So... Sorry, Tesla, this was never going to work. Wireless transmission is very very short distance before it dies out like you can set your phone on a wireless charger and that works fine but you take your phone away from the charger and it turns off like just mm. can you believe this fucking hint they gave me there's a hidden message <laughs> the numbers along the side are the keys to the code thank you bitch 
Thank you, Nancy. Oh, binary. Okay, see, that's oh. all I needed to know. Okay, yep, yep, yep. so is marking it out a zero or a one? I think it's a one. Okay, so. So. One. Well, then. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that spells a word, so that okay. seems to be the right uh, course of action here. Um, okay. Six is... A four and a two. Yeah. It's a two. Um... I think I'm doing the wrong the thing. The markouts are the zero, okay. Yeah, every. Yeah. Okay. Um... That makes more sense. Um... But what is 14? Uh, 8 plus 4 plus 2. Thank you. Because 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Go. Um, 10 is... 8 plus 2. Yeah. <laughs> um I used to be obsessed with binary, by the way. Sup, Devon. How's it going? You got to the most this is the most uh exciting <laughs> exciting <know>. bits <laughs> of just trying to remember binary. <laughs> <laughs> I did not yeah. learn binary until I was in computer science 101 and they made us learn it. Um which didn't really have any effect on what they were trying to teach us, because Computer Science 101 was just intro to Python, so there was no particular need for us to know binary. It was just a thing that was like, hey, you know, this is a thing you should know, and like hexadecimal basically t teaching us how it worked. But... Am I stupid? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Sometimes no. I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. Wait, that was wrong. No, that was right. It's four plus three. Right? Yeah. It's four, yeah, it's four plus three. I'm sorry. I have, like, the worst, like, attention span right now. <laughs> um. Four plus two plus one. Play every fifth letter above on the coil. Okay, <gasps> I'll give that a try. Ooh, okay. <laughs> sure. Every fifth? Every That's fifth. That's what so it says. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five. One, two, three, four, five. This must be the notes Nico mentioned yeah. to play. Awesome. I am progressing. <laughs> I'm like, this seems like probably the thing. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you so much, Devon. Yay. You gave Yay. out a tier one sub to Karen. Beautiful. Nice. It, that pair, that's not, oh no, it's your now, first gift sub. Of now you get the cute little wine glass emote and the Scopa emote. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> okay. 
the song on the coil. Okay, what is the song? Give me one second. I thought she would like, well, did she put it in her notes? Please. Observations. Observations. Yes, okay, yeah. I don't have to write it down. Nice. Okay. So is up here the uh, capital letters or down here? I, I feel like it goes capital. capital. Letters are us usually the raised octave, I think. I thought it was the other way around. I don't know, I can look. Ah. Um, I, it probably tells us is the stupid thing. It's, There's probably yeah, well. a book somewhere. I couldn't figure out how to donate. That's okay. Valid. Yeah, the uppercase or the lower octave, okay, according cool. to this. Yeah, bits on Twitch are non-intuitive compared to subs. Sounds about right. Zip zap. What I want to know is why this thing doesn't have a front cage on it. I agree. That concerns me. Because anybody could just stick their yes. hand in there and that it be done. The closer I come to the answer, the more I appreciate the magnitude of this discovery. I fear that I can no longer trust those around me. and not allow my research to go wasted unknown. So to find the hidden knowledge, illuminate a black light under the glow. Was that a good version of it, that guy's voice acting? <laughs> you can tell me if it wasn't. <laughs> his version, a good version of his voice acting is the question. <laughs> Valid. Um, I like how his handwriting is just the zap check, chancery font. Check. Yeah. Like, I can actually read it at least. That's a good. Next game better have a theremin. <laughs> But I had some kind of weird dream where I had to play a theremin, and I do not know what the context was. But do I need, do like, I, need a black I had to in order to like survive or something. I don't remember what the hell it was. It was really weird. Then I need to zero sleep. out of ten. Whatever that dream was. Right. I need to sleep now. Do I need to call Victor? Buddy. Hey, Victor. We hear his cell phone ringing somewhere, and we're like, wait a I second. That's weird. Look. I wanted to apologize for how our last conversation Maybe you should have called me. I just With a bat to, to the back of my head? Is that how I sure it was Ryan. conversation ended? I guess I was just blinded by how much I wanted to wrap things up. I can understand uh -huh. that. The more I think of it... I'm In order to survive this horror movie, you must play the score yourself. The a little Something more like that. I guess it's time to take a long look at everyone else. Keep an eye out. As we narrow in on the suspect, things might get a little dangerous. Okay, I don't really want to talk to you anymore. Um, <laughs> Someone knocked me out. But I'll tell you that at least. What? Are someone okay? knocked me out. Are you okay? Out, but I woke up in a photo lab and someone turned I the am oxygen a good off. Actor. I could have died. What are you talking about? Ryan said the air being off was a coincidence. That could have been bad. Ryan needs to keep me up on things like this. All of us need to be able to stay <laughs> safe. Don't okay. commit manslaughter. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you were able to make it out. Yeah, okay, bye. Goodbye. Uh -huh. I don't want to talk to him. I think he I have to talk me. to him, but he makes me so uncomfortable. I hate him <laughs> so much. He was pretty high on our list of terrible characters, if I remember correctly. Scary yeah. characters or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, he was, he was really high on the terrifying character scale, I remember. Because he just straight up terrifies me. I hate... Yeah. I would not want to be in a room with that man ever. I would literally, you would watch me shrink if I had to do that. And so like people like that will kind of set me off and I'll get really mouthy with them. Cause I'm like, excuse me. Hi. No, you don't. <laughs> I'll let you go. Bye. Oh, I thought I'm she was sorry. The one I went to for a you think you are in charge of this situation? Sir. Light. This might be what Nico was talking about. Okay. Really? I'm just gonna. Where are you gonna put it, Nancy? Upper ass. <laughs> she accused her of murder, but I still wish she'd check in with me and talk to me. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, like, I was fine with committing one murder. I wasn't planning on the second. Whoopsie doodle. Yeah, that'll go over well with the jury. 
In I didn't hell. mean to kill her. That was just supposed to be assault. <laughs> attempted murder. Cause you know, you hit somebody in the head. I think it's I think it's attempted murder. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, under the glow. I'm supposed to why did I hit escape as if that was going to help me? I think I need to fix this then. It looks like something is missing. Something's hmm. missing here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 my sense of self. <laughs> okay, so this I think I just have to have uh click to rotate. I'm just supposed to have these all like you guys understand how bad I am at this thing. We've already done this before where I was just awful. So, I don't know if anyone remembers um If anyone remembers the disaster that was, um, what was it? Trail of the Twister? <laughs> What's up in the chat? What? I'm, I'm not a doctor. I just play one on TV. Um, am I, what is going on? Just make here? diagonal lines out of them. That's I think you're not story. allowed to. I think that's like part of it as well. I am just gonna continue. It's in the, isn't it in the Tesla Coils user guide that you can check? Oh my God, that would make so much sense. Um, however, I'm already, <laughs> like I feel, we're I halfway feel like there. there's probably a set of SOGs for this. <laughs> we're already, we're halfway there. So that one's, Needs to be like dun, 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 dun. Let's do that one. Needs to be here. Probably. I don't know. I'm just I'm doing this the Ariana way. I think you can do it as a perfect rainbow, but I don't think it has to be. That's just an easy way to do it. I didn't know science labs used Pantone chips. Uh -oh. Yeah, didn't you know that's that's okay. I mean honestly we do have a color coding system, oh, so right. I forget. Is it Trail of the Twister where you have to know how to read a resistor? I did it! <laughs> no, that's this game. See, I... Is it where you have to be able to read the stripes on a resistor? I don't know. Is it? What? Okay. I know there's a game where you have to, so like, yes, that's a real thing. Did that? Um, do any of us have it memorized? No, we fucking look it up. Check, can't check that. Still, still no one has that. that shit memorized. Okay, um, I need a thing, so I need to talk to Mason. I think. Be like, hey, what kind of thing do I need? Or do I, I need talk to a Ryan? thing? I think maybe we'll go to Ryan first, and I'll be like, hey, Ryan, I need a thing, and she'll be like, I got you. Except she doesn't. <laughs> that's not how any of this works. No one ever has <laughs> things for me. That's not true. Sometimes they do. I got you. What's you just that? need to do this other thing to get it. I need to, to rebuild it. the missing part from Actually. the large Tesla coil. Can you help me out? I think I've got the plans here. Yep. Here yep, right go. here on my step stool. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Working here, I forgot that phrase existed. So, Ryan, Coco. honey, I better you, get going. You can do better. Bye. And you can find somewhere else that appreciates you more and pays you more. Yes. Um, this means I just have to sleep, because I need to do that on Mason's thingy. That sounded bad. On his computer. Yes. <laughs> what were you and Ellie doing and spending time together? I will have nothing to do with Mason's thingy. I know for a fact you were. <laughs> for a fact? Well, I know for a fact. You're wrong. Let me get back to work. Okie dokie. Wow. Bye, dude. Ejected. Goodbye. Okay. Let's go sleep it off. Yeah, no, Ryan and Bess probably would be really good friends. Bess would have no idea what Ryan is saying any of the time, but she would not care. But she would go, but you're so cute. Yeah. I have no idea what you're saying, but you're so cute when you say it. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying, but I support you. I never know what Nancy or George are do saying either. <gasps> I, she does know what Ned says, though. Yes. Ned is is an absolute just open book, the poor guy. That's why he would be bad at Among Us. 
Just yeah. absolutely terrible. Even if you played Among Us Hide and Seek, he would still be like, it's me, I'm it. And everybody would be like, Ned, we know. We, we say that at the start of the game. It's, he'd be like, no, 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 you don't understand. <laughs> Glad you made it through that lock-in. That could have been real, real bad. I don't want to talk to her. Do I have to? I'm not gonna. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, Nancy. Okay, bye. You're alive. I'm alive. I'm gonna go fuck with stuff now. Yeah, I'm I gonna to go get on somebody's Ryan's part. Okay. I don't know which side is which, though. God, I fucking hate well, this bullshit. I think... Is this this side? Yeah, because one is four and one is three, and I don't... It From there, it probably doesn't super matter, like, which way you have what facing. Um, so, like, for this first one, I think you're in the right orientation. Is then this... Yeah. Perhaps? Oh my I god, so. I hate these so much. My brain is just like, nah. My brain just says, no, that's okay. Okay, so. Like that, yeah. Then, like this. Like that. Okay, okay, see? And then, that's that so. on this side. Okay. Cool. Layer two. Nope. That's good. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. Um. Nope. What am I? I'm. S I just cannot. <laughs> I'm just like, I honestly have no idea. There we go. That's what I go. wanted. Okay. Back to this side. Three. We have one here. Nope. Yes, yes. Okay. Definitely there as well. Okay. Um... Just be straight up across like that. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We're getting somewhere. God, I'm so sorry to everyone watching this. <laughs> I'm just like, I have no idea how any of this works. Okay. Yeah, that seems like that for this layer. I think so. Um. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Ugh, oh, okay. Um, that looks right. From there. That looks right from there. And it looks right from there? I think so. Or is that... No, I think that's filled in. Okay. This definitely looks right. I'm just, like, triple checking. Because it takes yeah. for fucking ever to print this. Yeah. Um, gonna go save save there right here because if it's not right i'm just gonna immediately load yep yep woo woo and these the, these things they really take for fucking ever and i understand that i'm gonna just go have her notice that he, um and then we're just gonna sleep because there's nothing else i want to do right now yeah fred and scooby-doo is not the sharpest tool in the shed for sure <laughs> um bless his heart. <laughs> let's go. And just be like, it says printing. Okay, no, I have to actually print it from here. Aha! Yeah. Good thing we checked. Yeah, instead of just going to sleep, which is what I was going to do. Okay. That's Echolus font. Okay. UHS makes a good point about Victor having to be in the office. You're knocked out shortly after telling him it's definitely not Ryan, and when you come to is when the texts between Ellie and Mason appear. 
Yeah. So, uh, like, I just don't know when he, like, gets there. Yeah. Is he there the entire time? Or does he, like, leave and come back? Like, does he just, like, knock you out, drop the evidence? Like, but then, like, why does he knock us out if it wasn't to, like, attempt to kill us, right? God damn it. Okay. Hmm. So, did I get this on the wrong axis or something? I mean, I don't see why they would flip the axes. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, like, like that they would have the axes reversed, right? Why would, would you not just have the top one be green blue and then the second one be yellow green? Like, why would you? Yeah, why would you have it at a like parody transformation? That would be so weird. Um, maybe I just did it wrong. Maybe. Maybe I should be doing it, like... No, it can't be like that. Uh -huh. Okay, that's... that so far. I think so. Clear two. Yet again, I apologize. I like how there's this just vague typing sound in the background for no reason. It's Ellie. I guess. I guess. Is there a manual that tells you which color is the front? Maybe. Isn't there a 3D printing manual? Oh, yeah. You know what? I bet there is. I'm going to finish trying to do this, though. Yeah, <laughs> I will like, go look like, at again, it. Again, I can't, I can't imagine that they would flip it, would they? Because that would just be cruel and unusual. It sure would. Why am I... There we go. <laughs> so I would do. I'm just <laughs> just click until it looks right. Yeah. Oops. Because I'm I'm not gonna keep track. Yeah. I think Nancy like says when you put it in, she's like, ah, that's right. Something like that. But that looks right. Right from this side too. Okay. So I don't think that was right, but mm -hmm. that's okay. Oh, I fully intend to watch Anastasia for Christmas, so... I already watched it recently. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, like, I'm, like, saving it up for Christmas. Very valid. Because, like, I'm not gonna do anything else except cook, which I did. I went to, um, Joanne's today to get a birthday present for my mom, because her birthday is also coming up. Um, so I just bought her a gift card because she's been making a lot of masks. And, um, oh, Anastasia's on Disney Plus. Uh, I have the DVD, so I am going to watch it from my DVD. But yeah, it's on Disney Plus. Because Disney owns Anastasia now. No, I don't but... see, uh, I don't see a manual for 3D printing. Where would that be? Is it in his stuff? Maybe. Like in, or in the lounge it's pro somewhere? It's probably in his cubicle. I was probably literally right next to it. Yeah, Disney bought the rights to Anastasia a while back. Yeah. Well, technically, yeah. they just bought, um, whatchamacallit? Like tw 20th Century Fox or something, yeah. but, it, like, they didn't just, like, go after Anastasia specifically. But Disney is a conglomerate, so, you know, they have just acquired more intellectual properties over the years. That's one of them. Because... When they acquired it, everybody was like, oh my god, that means Anastasia's a Disney princess now. Yeah. Anastasia isn't a Disney movie, and, like, now we can't really say that anymore. I mean, you can, because it was, it was never produced by Disney, but... If I was... Hello. What? Bye. 
I what after Nico answer. died, you left for a while. It was almost like perhaps you were mourning. You know, weren't really capable of working. Where is something that would tell me about 3D printing? If I was something about 3D printing, where would I be? Maybe in the lounge. Who knows? I sure as fuck don't. God, it's already 10.30? Jesus. Where is the time gone today? It's the first <laughs> day I haven't just been in bed today, so. Uh, here. Not over here. No, I don't think there is one in here. Because it's not in here, that's just on Tesla. Um, oh, it's with Ryan? Okay, well, then we'll go to sleep. And in the morning, we'll go talk to Ryan about it, because I don't think this is right. I'm pretty sure Nancy goes, wow, this looks right, when you do it right. But maybe yeah, I'm wrong. Remember. That's gonna be like, block. yep. Oops. Guess, Guess I'll, I'll have, have to, to try, try again. again. Bitch. That's the spirit, Nancy. Go talk to Ryan. Now I'm just gonna load. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Got an actually fitting bra again for the first time in like two years, so I'm just like, how does this work? Nope, that's not where Ryan is, Risa. I almost said that's not where Ryan lives. <laughs> I mean, we do just live in the lab. It's, Does it's she... a fact. Hi. It's I not better over get there. Going. Later. Where is it? Where? Where? I do not see one. Why is this 3D printer designed to ruin everything that isn't this specific that it does look like? I no, I can't go to her room when she's not there. <laughs> it's locked That's at night. Terrifying. So. Yeah, because she's sleeping. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Yeah. She sleeps in the lab, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I have to scare her out to be able to do that. Yeah, I haven't called Deirdre in a while. Do I need hey, to? Hey. Um. I just found another video. This time it shows Gray entering the lab right before Nico died. Get a handle on things, would ya? I've already titled my report, Oakum's Razor at Work. I like that <laughs> Occam, title. It Occam's seems Razor. To stop having these kinds of troubles. Do you have any idea how I can figure out what's really going on in the video? They've got a lot of gadgets there. Maybe there's something that can analyze it? Problem Maybe I picked solved. it up? That's You're welcome. very Goodbye. possible. Hanging up. Did I pick it up? Um, electronics. I have. Oh, I don't have it. Not in there. That's just in solutions. I, I don't think it's anything tricky with the axes. I think we're just missing something in the pattern. Yeah, I think so. Like doing the pattern wrong. Because <laughs> if it was something tricky with the axes, like... That would be bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Gonna... Like, it certainly wouldn't be that way on Amateur Sleuth, you know? It... You know, I can okay. see them doing something like that on Master. There has to be amateur. something that's just hiding, then, is kind of how I feel. Yeah, something on, like, Layer 2 or something. Yeah. Because Layer 1 looks really straightforward, and, like, 3 and 4 are really straightforward, so it's got to be Layer 2. Okay, that's all I can see about Layer 1. Yeah, because in that rotation you can see, like, there's a square piece. 
like the cubes make a square in layer two. So like those three, I think there's one just above where your finger is. Here? Yeah. I think so. I think so too. I think that's what I've been seeing. That yeah. looked wrong. Okay. I think that's right. I think so too. Wait. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> My yeah. brain was like... Nope. No, mine did the same thing for a second, and it's like, no, 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 that's right. Meanwhile, I think my neighbor is, like, falling down the stairs or something. I don't know what they're doing out there. Calm down. It's only Tuesday. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just... I don't, I don't need you people, like, bringing paramedics and shit. Uh -huh. I think this time a couple of years ago, we had a literal dumpster fire oh gosh. outside. I just happened to look out and there were, you know, flashing red and blue lights. And I was like, that's weird. So I walked outside and it's like, there's a fire truck. Oh, that's interesting. And then I was like, the dumpster is literally on fire. Okay. And <laughs> my neighbors and I were just like, all right, we're going to go back inside. I think we did it this time. Yes. Okay. So that was, that was exactly it. Like where I was saying, yep. is that right? I think yeah. so. Yeah. I, I think, think that's, that's it. right. Okay. Yes. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, my stomach is finally hungry. That's good. <gasps> now, a good thing I still have that curry downstairs. Yeah. Cause... It's like, oh, oh, I see you made curry. Oh. It's like, how dare you put effort now. into food? <laughs> you shall not eat it now that it's cold. Yeah. It's like, ah, okay, yeah, you can have it, bitch. <laughs> I thought that was Nancy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Nancy is just like, bitch. There's for no reason walking down the hall. Yeah, okay. I think I should... There's something I haven't done yet. Um, uh, I think I need... Amazing. I think I need to tell Victor about Gray. And then he'll show what up. Nancy say, bitch? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think if I just say... I, I saw a video of Gray going into the lab the night of the murder. Ray. Then he'll show up. Like he just made himself a prime suspect, if you ask me. I found the key card that opened the lab the night of Nico's yeah. murder. You did? In Ellie and Mason's office. I think maybe we should you take did. this to the police. Good you instincts. did? Well, let's not do that well I never... If we open the investigation now, it'll be months before anything gets resolved. And that's if they solve the case. Let's play it close to the vest until we've got enough to wrap this case up. Which might not be long. Follow up on that key card. Whoever you can pin that on is our killer. Okay, bye. Bye. Talk to you later. Sir! I guess I should Sir. actually tell him things. I'll call him back. Like, he's like, it'll be months before it gets resolved. Sir, listen, it's the Colorado Ellie Springs and PD. are working it's... together. <laughs> what? They have it was genuinely strange, nothing better to do. Considering how they feel about each other. Double down on those two. They're up to no good. If they're trying to make a sale. What? Put it this way. If Oops. they're trying to arrange something like that, it's because Nico <gasps> isn't alive to stop them. And here's mm. the disturbing thing. It takes months and okay. months to set up a sale. He's like, wow, oh, you, finally you, found my, you finally found my bait. Nico was still alive. Right? Nancy. Nico was a good man. He okay, bye. He never deserved this. I mean, you would know. Please close this case so I can get his work out where he wanted it. Goodbye. Talk to you later. <laughs> please, please close this case as a favor to me. Yeah, totally. That's how solving crimes works. Yeah. He would just say, hey, can you please solve this crime? And then the crime gets and solved. And then the crime is solved. Yeah. I like how the dartboard is just like shoved in the corner above the shredder. Yeah, I feel like or someone's no, gonna be like, hey, like, can you play Scram? And I'm gonna be like, God, no. Oh, my stomach is growling. Ooh. Like, whoa. I'm like, chill out. Okay. 
Bam. Just stick that in there. And then I guess I just get to... Do you have to put the kill switch on? The emergency no, it's in, on? it's in the fucking evidence bag. Oh, okay. I can't do anything with it. Okay. Choose level. Power on. Charge, Charge power, power. Engage system. This machine, you will die if you do this wrong. <sighs> okay, so... Getting rid of that annoying assistant. Interesting. Damn. No, I don't want to scan it. I just want to have it up. <laughs> okay. Don't I have Do to... not exit control booth. Honestly, the control booth might, the door might have an interlock on it to stop you from going out when the system is charged. No, we, it we turn might. it on. Choose level low. Okay. Power no, I on. mean like in real life, they might design it that way. Yeah. I am not sure. <laughs> What are you doing? Zapping shit. That coil is deadly. Mess with that again, I'll be the least of your worries. Get out. Well. What were you doing in the lab? I had a hunch I needed to follow up on. <laughs> Touching things. I have a hunch. If you keep screwing around in the lab, you'll either end up fired or dead. Stay out of the lab. Make me. That bitch. <gasps> <laughs> this, this I just came right I back inside. Like, yeah, yeah. This is why I should not deal with men like that. Um, because yeah, make me literally how I work. Why does Gray look like a McElroy in forty years? <laughs> Nancy, no. Oh, no, we're no, doing no. it. We're doing this. <laughs> This has to lead to whatever Nico was hiding. Enter the hex. I, I don't want to. <laughs> this seems unsafe. A biometric fingerprint scanner. This could be a challenge. Could it though? Really, all you need is a printer. <laughs> oh, a lot of, especially these early fingerprint scanners were so badly designed it's just off that now? you could. I guess. That you could just like take a an image of it, print it out on a piece of paper, and stick it on the scanner, and it would work. Like, okay, okay. You you wouldn't need to do the trick that Nancy does in this probably to make it work. Um, modern biometric fingerprint scanners, especially for high security applications, are going to require you to complete an electric circuit, so it requires. Um, like living tissue to oh, be pressed Tesla to it. Coil. Like you, I have to turn the like Tesla coil on and off ten times. Like Sorry. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chat was right. asking what awards do you have left? And I was like, oh wait, Tesla coil. Okay. That's so right, yeah. I need um I did alarmist, I did candy connoisseur, chemist. I need to do electrified. So I have to turn the big Tesla coil on ten times. So we need to do that. I've already done Easter egg, gamer. I need to do gummy bandit. Um I've done Imperfectionist, I've done Composer, I've done Pigeon Handler, I've done Pretty Kitty. So we literally just have to do Electrified, I think, and Gummy Bandit. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Just two awards left. Yeah, sounds right. Okay. What's up? Um. I think there may be something weird about the security video from the night of the murder. Could you take a look at it with me? Yes. Yes. This track is something Nico had me add, so the security video okay. could also do double duty as a data set. He liked tracking the ebb and flow of the electrical current okay, throughout sure. the year. It meant something to him. <laughs> I've heard that theoretically he he could... Wait. What? Right there. And there. Let me get a closer look. It's true. Move, Nancy. There are breaks in the signature. This video was tampered with. Someone followed Nico into that lab and edited themselves out of the tape. I'm pulling this off the network before. What just happened? That footage must have been flagged. 
Whoever PNG. killed Nico knows what we just saw. Where are you going? Anywhere but here. If you're smart, you do the I same. I mean, that's an IP address. Sure is. <laughs> you can literally just trace that back. Okay, well, we're gonna go in the lab. I don't think it was on a B on VPN. Oh my. Uh-oh. I'm gonna touch it anyway. Okay, no, it's not this one. It's the one where Mason's in here. Mason! Not an exit. What are you doing here? What are you doing what are you here? I was doing going here? to ask you the same thing. This might come as a shock, but no one wants you lurking around here. Well... Why don't you just leave me to my work? A shock, you say? I'm not lurking. A... What's that? Wait! Wait, stop! Someone's activated the machine! You have to shut it all down! Please! Oh, how did you get stuck in there, sir? What did you do? I need to find a way to turn off all of the power. Okay. It's okay, Mason. You're probably only, like, gonna die once. Ah. I hit the wrong button. Uh-oh. I did it wrong. Do you guys Stand remember? Is glue. Do you guys remember when I did such a good job before? I didn't do as good a job this time. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I mean, the last time they made it easier because a man's life wasn't at stake. <laughs> Just turn everything to high power. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Mason's like, I'll wait. No worries. I'm just, I'll, I'll wait here. No. Nope. See, this is a spot where a kill switch would be a real good idea. And it is what they would have. This would have I'm... an interlock that shut everything down when you pushed a button. Why? <laughs> and then that one. Uh, that was so close to being good. Well, he's dead this time, but don't worry about it, guys. I keep getting I mean, it down to two. He's probably only going to be mostly dead. Mostly dead is slightly alive. Why do I keep getting it back down to two? God damn it. You can't rifle through his pockets, unfortunately. Yeah. It's okay, his cell phone would be useless anyway. It would be so fried. God damn it. Now I'm just hitting things randomly like Ariana. I, I like how this is like that helicopter noise, like how you know shit's getting real in PGSM. There's a helicopter noise for no reason. Shit's getting real. Are we inside a convention center? Yes. Then you know shit's getting real. Yep. It is really damn decent of the Yoma to always attack like a completely uninhabited, massive building. I know, right? Which pretty much ensues that we won't catch any civilians in the moon twilight flash. 
<laughs> Actually, I feel like Supreme Thunder is really the, the wild card there. Or is. Supreme Thunder. Um, sorry, I'm just... <laughs> Fucking Although around. We know Mars has burned some shit down by accident a few times. Like uh, fucking around. So close. That stupid fucker. Mm. That stupid fucker is the one that I'm just You're just chasing these two damn lights all the way around the board. I think Ryan might cosplay as Winry because, I mean, all she would really need is the wig. She's got all the other, like, you know she just wears that stuff to work. So, like, I think Winry is definitely on the list. God damn it. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> or Kaylee from Firefly, yeah, same rationale, yeah. Everybody probably tells her she should cosplay Kaylee, and, you know, she, she's either very into it or very like, that's not me at all. And everyone's like, Ryan, honey, you're modeled off, off of the same trope. What? What? <laughs> Good thing he's not dying. Mason, are you 100% sure we need the whole thing shut down before you can get your hand out? Like... Because, buddy... You, you, you gotta work with me here. You gotta help me out. You can't just sit here and wait for me to save you. That is not how anything in this world works. just really came here to watch a man die. <laughs> Nancy's taking a really long time in electrical. Don't know about that. Yeah, I have played Among Us all of one time in my life, and I was so bad at it. And the thing is, I don't think anybody genuinely believed being that bad. Like, you know, that I genuinely didn't know what I was doing. I'm like, no, you don't understand. This is literally the first time. <laughs> he died. I want everyone to realize that he just that died. Nice. He just got completely... I need you, to find a way can't. to turn off it's... all of the power. What? What, sir? That's not how... Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I think I... Oh, no, it's Phasmophobia that I put, not Among Us. I was going to say, I think I put in the Discord, but I think it was Phasmophobia. I hate this bullshit. Oh, wow, I cannot type. Yeah, no, it was Phasmophobia. Although, frankly, it might be similar. So, Ryan and Phasmophobia is also loud shrieking, freakishly good at getting the breakers turned back on every time a ghost cuts the power. Seriously, no one knows these maps that well. She might be pretty similar in Among Us, where it's just like, no, she knows the map way too well, and how. Just how. No, you don't need VR for oh for phasmophobia. You don't need it. Um, it's, you know, some people probably find it more fun that way. But no, you don't need VR to play phasmophobia. You just need like a microphone and probably like a decent pair of headphones helps. Um, and you need a Windows PC. It's not available on Mac. I know. I looked. Because that would. Got there it. we Fucking go. Fucking finally. Nice. I appreciate that. Who could You're alive turn this that time, on? Mason. No clue. Look, maybe we could keep this between ourselves, okay? 
What are you, you mean doing? the embarrassing part where you got your hand caught in Nancy, a piece of equipment? We should have a talk. Come on. Yeah, nice we, should, we, we should. You saved me some paperwork back there. It's unfortunate that we couldn't be meeting under better circumstances. I want that key. It wasn't exactly fair of me Sir. to ask you to take on such a large task. It looks like your ride is going to be a little late. Get settled in the lounge and please don't touch anything. I'm going oh, to need all of your it. passes and keys. Where did you even sure, get Sure, it's not like I can't nope, just like print I, you I don't even want to know. Okay, What's I still have this one. What is Victor's shirt? No, Victor's shirt leave. was on Clarence at Old Navy. Hire a That's what that is. Time. Killer gets found, killer goes to jail. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. what's your next step with the investigation? I'm sorry if I've been anything but crystal clear. I want you off this case. Victor's shirt is my entire wardrobe. <laughs> You've caused enough <laughs> trouble here. Bye. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, we should probably end here. Um, what do we name it? To remind us what we're doing for tomorrow. Um. Get gummy bears, I guess? Yeah. Fuck Victor. Fuck Victor. <laughs> that is, that is no not thanks. what we're doing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Not I would prefer not to, if that's okay with you guys. <laughs> Make a finger. Make That's a finger. Work. That is yeah. what we're going to be doing. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I am I'm pooped, and I would like to go eat my curry that is cold downstairs. So, I'm going to stop now. Um, and, Dr. Ray Ray, will you, also, will you be available tomorrow? I will indeed. Perfect. So. We'll do this again tomorrow. Um, and maybe we'll finish it tomorrow? I'm hoping. Seems it would be like fun. we're pretty close, yeah. It would be fun to do a Twitch Sings Christmas Eve stream. Because yeah. Twitch Sings, as many of you will know, um, is going away as of the 1st of January. So I would like to get maybe a couple singing streams in before uh, before it goes away. So Yeah, Thursday is Christmas Eve. I might do some Christmas Day, too, because you know, I'm going to yeah. be watching Anastasia, and that's about it. Yeah, but see? So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow, and uh, peace see out. See ya.